The scope of change that we're talking about in communications networks is massive. It really means a fundamental re-architecture of how networks are built, operated, and deployed. But it also means a dramatic change in the business process. It means a re-engineering of the operational elements, the skill sets of the workers, and many of the policies, even with their customers. In order to realize the network of the future, there is a lot of both risk as well as benefit. We see 5G coming to fruition, which really represents the true convergence of computing and communications. We move to a paradigm that is less network-centric and more user-centric in terms of the rich, immersive user experiences that the network will need to deliver in that time. We've begun the initial deployments of NFE and SDN. We saw those start to roll out in 2014. But we see three big challenges right now in terms of getting to a broader set of deployments. The first is in having a hardened carrier grade platform by which we can deploy and meet the reliability and the security and the performance requirements of the network. The second is the fact that despite innovations in NV and SDN and all of the goodness that that brings, there is a need to integrate and interoperate with the legacy infrastructure and that's going to continue for many years to come. And lastly, and perhaps the biggest challenge, is around the new models for deployment which require much more software skills and capabilities than hardware skills, new processes that will really redraw how service providers deploy networks and that business process transformation is a big challenge that we need to address as an industry. So Intel's role in the transformation of the network is anchored on our technology leadership in both our hardware and software ingredients. But it also extends into ecosystem enabling, into providing reference designs for the industry, into our contributions of open source and open standards, and of course, in terms of our engagement with end users. Intel Network Builders is the community we've created around a common vision of a network that is much more scalable, much more flexible, much more programmable. We started Intel Network Builders two years ago with a handful of companies and have grown it now to over 170 companies, including strategic end users from both service provider and enterprise disciplines. Clearly, we have technical challenges that we still need to work on and address together, but it's the business challenges that really create much bigger market opportunity for the ecosystem as well as the service providers and the end users that will drive innovation much, much faster. The opportunity for the service provider is to move the network at cloud pace and offer services at the speed of software. What that means is a much broader participation in the market. It means a common set of interfaces for more developers to innovate on top of. And it means addressing many of the end user requirements by engaging the end user community in much of the innovation that we are investing in today. And that's where we need the engagement of a broad ecosystem of innovators to travel the journey with us to realize the network of the future.